Welcome to All Hands Update. I'm Petty Officer Andrew Johnson. Construction of the Navy Zumwalt class destroyers is moving forward and making progress. DDG 1000, the future USS Zumwalt, is currently 92% complete and undergoing its final stages of construction. Zumwalt is successfully activating fuel systems and advanced engineering systems. While Zumwalt is nearing completion, DDG-1001, the future Michael Monsoor, and DDG-1002, the future Lyndon B. Johnson, are still in the beginning stages of construction. DDG-1000 is named in honor of the Navy's 19th and youngest CNO, Admiral Elmo Zumwalt. Zumwalt-class destroyers will be multi-mission surface combatants designed to fulfill volume firepower and precision strike requirements. They're expected to join the fleet in 2016. For more information on DDG-1000, log on to All Hands Magazine online or the Navy Live blog. Pre-commissioning unit Zimwalt begins the final phase of preparations for its sail away and commissioning later this year. Sailors have moved aboard and Navy life has begun with regular meals from the galley. The buzz around the ship is electric as sailors begin to look forward to their new home port in San Diego. Like, man, I can't wait to get to Maine, get on the ship already. And we got to the PCU. Like, I got, we, got, we all got like a whole bunch of friends and stuff like that that like know about the ship and stuff. And we're still in Maine. I mean, it's pretty cool. Sometimes you forget how cool the ship is because you're in it so much, but then when you start talking to people, you get reminded of how cool this stuff is. Stay tuned to All Hands Update and All Hands Magazine for continuing updates on PCU Zumwalt. Pre-commissioning unit Zumwalt is the Navy's first automated stealth destroyer. The first in its class ship contains highly advanced technology and many unique features including staterooms for all sailors. This is my first ship and I feel pretty lucky because this is a four-man stateroom as opposed to traditional berthing utilizing our laptops that we were issued. We can just connect to the network drive that we have and uh, just accomplish any work that we need to straight out of our own, our own staterooms. We have our own private head for the four of us to share, and we don't have really assigned cleaning duties and responsibilities. We just kind of take it upon ourselves to keep each other in check. To maximize efficiency, sailors are also equipped with cell phones. All of us E5 and above were issued little yellow cell phones to be able to communicate with one another. Stay tuned to All Hands Update for future coverage on PCU Zoomwalk. The Navy is anticipating the arrival of PCU Zumwalt. In addition to the cutting-edge technology on board, the ship's rigid hull inflatable boats are getting an update as well. NSW has been utilizing the 11 meter rib variant for, for many years and as they're phasing it out and going to the CCM, the, uh, the boat is, is amazing. It's much more maneuverable than the, the standard 7 meter that you know, Arleigh Burks and the cruisers are using and most other ships. Uh, and its versatility is amazing and, and the speed is, uh, is great. It's nothing better than doing 40 knots in a small boat on, on the water, you know. PCU Zumwalt is expected to be commissioned and join the fleet later this year. Stay tuned to All Hands Update and visit All Hands Magazine for continuous coverage and updates on PCU Zumwalt. The Navy's newest and largest destroyer, the future USS Zumwalt, is at sea for the first time. Zumwalt is currently undergoing sea trials designed to test many of the advances and new features that are the hallmarks of this revolutionary ship. To learn more about Zumwalt and what makes it unique, visit the Naval Sea Systems Command website. CNO Admiral John Richardson released a podcast describing what he considers to be the Navy's core attributes, integrity, accountability, initiative, and toughness. To hear his thoughts, you can download the full podcast from Navy.mil or from iTunes. I had the opportunity to uh, observe my sailors uh, operating the ship, driving the ship, uh, operating the bridge control console, and it was really marvelous how quickly, after a year plus for many of these folks, uh, standing a pre-commissioning unit duty in a building, how quickly they snapped into a, a, a seagoing mode of operations, you know, how quickly old habits came back and really how well this ship handled and performed out there in the Gulf of Maine. It was 
an awesome experience. I think it was a great taste for all of us of what's to come. And we're looking very, for, very much forward to doing it again here in the near future.